Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Joy and today I'm going to be going ahead giving you a reading here. We're just going to see what's going on. What's the story? What story does the cards want to bring for you? As you see I have uh, five decks in front of me. This is a, a five card spread so I thought well you know what? Let's go ahead. Be a little unique. Be a little unique and use five different decks. Alright, so this first deck you saw me shuffling was uh, an Animal Oracle deck. This deck here is the Archangel Michael deck. So give it a few shuffles here. My cat's in here, she's trying to get in the closet, so... If you hear that or not, she's scratching at the trying to pull the door open. <laughs> oh, she's a goof. Okay, one more like this, and we'll cut and put these aside for you. All right, so where's that deck? This deck here is John Holland's uh, tarot deck. See what we what is the message? What message do you have for YouTube? What's the message for YouTube? You hear that? <laughs> oh, she's a pistol sometimes. This deck here is the sacred medicine deck. Sacred medicine deck. A lot of times when I use this deck, I do read straight from the book on this one, so, um, <clears throat> you know, <laughs> don't be alarmed. It's just, uh, there's so much meaning in these cards, and I just love the way that the, the author, the creator of this deck, uh, you know, what's the meaning in the cards? Well, that one wants to fall out, so we'll take that one. And then our regular Rider weight deck here. I could have pre-shuffled these offline, but, um, you know, a lot of people want to see the shuffling, you know? They want to see the shuffling. That's fine by me. <laughs> I don't mind. Let's cut them and begin here. All right. The decks are shuffled and ready to roll. I'm going to keep this one as your final card. It's the position of that card that I was going to use that for. Okay. So our first card, you have the King of Cups. The first card is representing you at this time, the energies, your attitude, uh, Whatever your situation is that brought you to this reading, this king is you. Okay, this king is representing you. It's the king of cups. Just a moment. I have to let her in the closet because she is just going crazy over here. You're stuck. She's stuck. Go on. <laughs> okay. Then the noise will stop. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, as I was saying, the King of Cups is you. Right? Seems to be a lot of turbulent turbulence going on behind the scenes in your situation that you may not be aware of or you may be aware of. If you are aware of these uh, troublesome, these troubles going on with you, um, you're not, it's, it's not, you're aware of it, like I was saying, possibly, but it's not if really, it's not really affecting you because you know that you are above and beyond uh, the troubles, the turmoil that's going on in the background um, of whatever brought you here. You, you know that you, you're, you are, you're capable of dealing with it, you're a little higher up in the I'll just say in the smartness, right? Uh, you are a king. You're sitting on a throne. 
you know, this you're sitting on in the on this you know this cement slab here in the cement chair, this solid concrete, right? Concrete. You are concrete in your beliefs, and you're holding your emotions quite well for the turbulence, for the situation that's going on uh, behind the scenes. Um, so this is just bringing that energy to you, and if you're feeling as though um, you're not quite sure if you should be letting the, the see how the, the water behind here is really up and down, up and down, real wavy. If you're not too sure if you can handle all the, the turbulence, all the, let's just say, crap that's going on. Uh, behind the scenes, behind your back, not necessarily behind your back because you are in front of it, but um, this king is coming through to let you know that, hey, you know, you're concrete, you're solid, you are solid, you are solid in your belief, you're solid in your ways, all the tri tribulations, <laughs> I meant troubles, but... Um, you know, you're, you're solid. You're solid in what you believe. You're, you're concrete. Okay? You're real. You are real in the way you believe. And he also, this king also, um, I don't know how well the camera's picking this up. You see on his crown, he has these little, he has what they call ear flaps. And they're covering his ears. Okay, that is mean. That that is this. This is meant to be for a uh, clear audience. Clear audience is clear hearing. You can hear things. You know you. You can hear things that possibly others aren't hearing right now. So in other words, you you know things. You're you're hearing things. The hearsay, you're, you're, you know the hearsay, you, you can hear it, uh, you know what's going on, you have clear hearing. <laughs> ah. Okay, we'll just leave that at, right there at that for you. Okay, your second card we're going to take from the angel deck. And this card is going to be representing um, your self con your self conscious oh, goodness oh, your subconscious not self conscious okay this is what your inner self this is what you what your inner self your higher self knows about this situation here and how concrete and stable you are with the troubles that are behind you. The troubles are behind you now. You're moving forward. This is something that you um, you may not realize that you know or how to handle it. Okay? So let's go ahead and pull a card for you. Angels are saying, yes, you are correct. Yes, you are correct. You're solid, you're concrete, you're hearing, you know, you, you've got the hear, all knowing, the all hearing, right? Is there two cards here? No. And just look at her. Look at her, how she's jumping for joy, you know? She's got her hands up, you know? Yay! Yay! And then on the bottom of the card it says, You have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. It's your main, you know, this is your higher self telling you that you are correct in this situation. You want to keep moving forward. You don't want to let these troubled waters, these troubled emotions uh, bog you down. The, yes, the road, the road, the waves are rough. The road, it's all rough. But that's behind you now. You are solid. You are con concrete, and you are you are absolutely correct in the way that you are feeling. 
or how you're going about handling this situation. That's what the angels want to tell you. And if you noticed also, she has her fingers and she's pointing to the top of her head. It's me, it's me, yes, I'm correct, I'm correct, yes, it's me. <laughs> you are correct, you are correct, you are solid, you are concrete. Remember that, okay? Next card then, we're going to be pulling an animal card here for you. This animal is going to be bringing its energy to you, to um, something that something that you need to be aware of have awareness of, okay? Something to have awareness of in your situation that brought you here within this reading. Something that you need aware to be aware, have awareness of. Okay. Now the peacock spirit, peacock spirit, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let your, let that concrete knowledge and knowing, all hearing vibes about yourself shine. Just like this angel card here. Jumping for joy, she's shining. You are shining, right? You are correct. You are concrete. Let it shine. Let it shine. You can tell on here that this peacock's heart is just glowing. You know, to have, to have that awareness of the feelings within your heart, okay, on this situation. Have that, have that feeling of love within yourself. Now the peacock also had an, on, on his feathers, you know, peacock feathers, they look like a bunch of little eyeballs, right? A bunch of eyes. Now you've already got your sense... You know, you have your hearing here. In the first, very first card, you have your heightened sense of hearing. Now, you're also having a heightened sense to be very aware of what you're seeing now as well. Have that awareness, everything that you're hearing, everything that you're seeing. Remember, you are out of those troubled waters right now. You're out of these troubled waters. They're behind you. Again, you know, you're concrete on this concrete slab. So, you know, this peacock is just bringing you that energy, the energy from its heart, and letting it wants you wants to bring you that that enlightenment. We'll say that enlightenment of the all seeing, your intuition. You know, the eye, your all, your third eye, all seeing, right? Wants to bring you that to have awareness of your intuition. Believe and trust and be concrete in what you're believing and you're trusting and what you're hearing and what you're seeing. You need to puzzle it all together. Because, you, yes, you are correct, right? Yes, you are correct. Put all those puzzle pieces together. And your next card here, this is what fam, this is for, in your uh, situation, this position here is what family and friends family and friends or a group, you know, if, if this is something to do with uh, work relations, uh, you know, your, your, your group of friends, you know, whatever the situation is, this is, this card here is representing them, okay, and, and what, and what they are thinking, and what they are thinking of you, all right, now don't take it too personally, you know. When I say what they're thinking of you, you, know, you have to put it in your own perspective here. You know, we don't, I don't want no negative going on. See what, you know, what, what are they thinking? What are they thinking? Well, all right, we got the two of swords. Well, here it's kind of showing me. All right, here you have this woman, right? Here's this woman sitting, again, on a stone slab, a stone bench. The waters behind her are calm now, right? The water behind her is calm. She has her heart crossed with these two swords guarding her heart. She has a blindfold on her eyes. This is family and friends. Family and friends. 
co-workers, you know, your, the people that are in this situation with you. This is what they're thinking. I'm, you know, the, this card is combining, combining just about all, you know, these, these four cards here. Like I was saying, you know, you've got the stone bench, you've got your heart, you know, you've, you've got the heart here, and the seeing, you know, you've got the, the concreteness here. But this is, this is all, this is all about you, this is you here, you know, and this is, this is them. They don't have their heart, they're not, have their heart open. They're blocking their heart and they're closing their eyes. They are not at a, they are not in a position or they are not, they are not in that place yet that, that you have grown, that you are in. So this card can also be representing this, you know, the, this, this river, this ocean, these, these troublesome times, these waves. You know, they're not quite... They're not quite there yet, okay? You're you're way above the you're way above the game, I would say. You're way above the game, so it may be taking you it may take a little time for them to Oh, I understand now. I see what's going on. I see what's going on. Oh I I'm listening to you, I'm listening to you, they may be saying. But you know, they're going to come around. They're going to come around, it, or maybe they're not going to come around. We don't know. You know, that's that's part of the the fun and uh, going ahead and using the tarot cards. Because this is just giving you a suggestion, okay? We don't know if they're going to be actually catching up with you or if they're going to stay a little behind and you need to move on further. You know, we, we don't know that, but this is just what's going on right now. This is how they are feeling right now. They do not hear, they do not see, they do not understand your point of view in this situation. They, they don't get it. You know, they, they don't get it. They don't get it, so don't let that stress you out, right? Don't let it stress you out because the angels are saying, you are correct. You are correct. Believe in yourself. Have faith in yourself. Be creative. She has a yellow shirt on for creativity, sunshine, and joy. Be creative. Be very creative in the way that you're going to be going about and trying to explain. If you wish to explain, explain your view to them, okay? And maybe they'll take that blindfold off and uncross their heart and see that the water now is going to be calm. Those big waves aren't pushing and throwing them around anymore. It's calm now. It will be calm. Things will calm down. I mean, really, all you could do is just keep talking to them and uh, try to explain stuff to them. But you know, sometimes it's just not the time for. You know, sometimes it's just not meant to be for someone else to understand what someone else's your point or someone else's point of view is. Right? Sometimes it just isn't that way. So let's go ahead and pull this final card here for you. This final card is the is the final like the final outcome, and then we'll go ahead and read your sacred medicine card. Oh, okay. Balance. Keep yourself in balance. Balance is coming through. The final outcome of this is all about balance. Okay. I'm just going to pull up these two cards here. You've got the got the waves, the wave, the rolling waves, the turbulence of the water. You've got the calm water here. Final card is balance. There's your final card is balance. So this is just kind of telling me that, you know. Here we were saying they may or may not be coming around, but there's going to be some balance coming through all this, through through your perspective of being concrete, 
steadfast, true to yourself, keep your emotions intact, you know, believe in yourself, use your intuition, listen and see things and hear things. Learn all you can and that's going to bring balance to the situation or, or at the most, it's going to be bringing balance to you. Okay, this situation may not balance out, but it will balance you out. Okay, you will be feeling lighter and understanding more. It's going to bring balance into your life. Okay, it's going to be bringing balance into your life. You've got all the tools. This is an angel. You know, look at this angel here. That's all these. That's all those tools, right? All the tools in front of him. Kind of like, like a tool belt in a way. Kind of like the magician as well in, in the Rider weight deck, like the magician. Um, you know, I've got all the tools laid out in front of you. You have, you have the power, you have the energy. If you believe in your heart and trust in your intuition, right, it's going to balance out. It's a balance, balancing out. It's a balancing act. You know, it's a balancing act. If this situation, like I said, I'll say it one more time. If this situation isn't going to balance itself out, at least it's going to bring balance and harmony to you. Okay? So let's go ahead and read what uh, your sacred medicine is. Hmm. Okay, it's a sacred tears, and it's a, an expression. Here's that water, right? Here's the water, the waterfall. Here's that water. Here's this calm water. Here's the calm water, and it's it's overflowing now, and it's coming down. Of course, you know. When it hits down, when it, waterfalls hit the rocks on the down below, it's a little rough, you know, the rapids, right? The rapids, and then the water flows out, and it's nice and smooth and gentle again. So this card's also representing and telling you that there's going to be balance. And the, the main word on here is expression. Use your expressions, right? Your expressions through your hearing and your seeing, your knowledge being true to yourself. So let's go ahead and read from the book now. This card number 17. All right, yeah, there it is. That was quick. All right, let's see what the, let's see here. I'm gonna hold this up and read it to you. Tears hold our sacred waters, memories, essence, and medicine. Today you are invited into a healing space by the power of the spirit and ancestors. They hold you, they see you, and they encourage you to express all that you have held on so tightly. It's been a challenging time and there's no shame in acknowledging this. Recall all the tears you have swallowed back or your emotions you have pushed down. It's time for them to release. Raw emotions and feelings are a call for love. This card is a reminder that you are worthy of taking space and time to allow for all to pass through. Let your tears fall to the earth so, you are sacred, so your sacred waters can enter the soil. As we deeply feel, we can truly heal. This time of sadness and vulnerability is essential for you to move through to the next, uh, the next cycle. So the next cycle can enter. The sacred tears that are held in your own body and spirit also hold the tears of your ancestors and relatives. When you shed them, you heal the past, the present, and future generations. Your medicine waters bless the world. It's safe to express your emotions at this time. Release the grief and pain, for as you do, 
there is more capacity for joy and an easy and an ease to flow. Wow. Wow. Yes, you are correct, right? Yes, you are correct. It's mentioned in this saying. You're hearing, you're seeing. It was mentioned in this card as well. The hearing and the seeing. Your heart opening, right? Your emotions. The water is calming, right? And the balance. The balance is going to be coming to you, right? The balance will be coming to you. All mentioned in the, your very, very final card here of Sacred Medicine. So I hope you can take this message, you know, take what, take what you can from this message. Um, if not all of it, you know, some and parts of it I'm sure is going to be related to you because this is a collective reading. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. I do want to mention one thing, you know, the eyes here on these peacock feathers, right? And it says sacred tears, sacred tears. Let the emotions flow out. Let the emotions flow out. It's okay to let your tears, it's okay to cry and give give your pain and sorrow down. You know, let your water run from your body and let it, let it soak into the earth. Let Mother Earth absorb it and neutralize it for you. Okay, that's all about the balance. It's all about balance. All right. So I thank you and you have a wonderful day. Bye now. Beautiful.